Welcome to Catholic News World. Welcome to Catholic News World. Please subscribe to our channel. My name is Steph. Here are this week's breaking news headlines. Pope Francis began the Easter Triduum with the Chrism Mass held at St. Peter's Basilica. Over 1800 priests, bishops and cardinals were in attendance and can celebrated the Mass. They renewed their priestly vows at the Mass. About 2500 people were also in attendance at the Mass. During the Chrism Mass Pope Francis, as Bishop of Rome, consecrates the holy oils to be used for baptism, confirmation and the sacrament of the sick, throughout the year. In his homily the Pope recommended, fixing our eyes on Jesus, and to beware of making room for the devil in our lives. The Pope gave each priest in attendance a book entitled, Witnesses, Not Officials, in which Bishop François Xavier Bustillo of Ajaccio offers guidance to priests ministering in today's ever-changing world. After the Chrism Mass, Pope Francis traveled to a prison in Rome. There he celebrated the Mass of the Last Supper. It is customary for priests to wash the feet of twelve people during this Mass, in remembrance of Jesus' washing of the feet of the Apostles during the Last Supper. Pope Francis, as he has done in previous years, washed the feet of twelve prisoners. The prisoners were visibly moved at this gesture. In his homily, the Holy Father said, God forgives everything and God always forgives. We are the ones who get tired of asking for forgiveness. This is a beautiful prayer for today, but, Lord, forgive me. I will try to serve others. On Good Friday, Pope Francis presided over the liturgy. However, due to his knee pain, he was unable to prostrate in front of the cross as in previous years. Cardinal Raniero Cantalamessa, who has been the preacher of the papal household, for 40 years, gave the homily, he quoted the words of J.R. Tolkien to his son, Our love may be chilled and our will eroded by the spectacle of the shortcomings, folly, and even sins of the church and its ministers, but I do not think that one who has once had faith goes back over the line for these reasons, least of all anyone with any historical knowledge, Tolkien adds that it is convenient because it tends to turn our eyes away from ourselves and our own faults to find a scapegoat. Good Friday is the only day in the church year when Mass is not celebrated. The faithful venerated the cross and communion was distributed. Pope Francis presided over the way of the cross on Good Friday, April 15, 2022. Families offered the meditations for each of the 14 stations based on their own experiences of suffering and hope. The traditional Via Crucis, returned on Good Friday evening to the Colosseum in Rome for the first time since 2019. Pope Francis presided over the event, with over 10,000 faithful present in the prayers of the Stations of the Way of the Cross. The modern-day tradition began in 1964 when Pope St. Paul VI presided over the event. He and subsequent popes continued the practice each year until the pandemic struck in 2020. The highlight of the meditations came in the 13th Station, which saw two women carry the cross together, Albina who is from Russia and Irina from Ukraine. Instead of the prepared meditation, silence spoke louder than any words. The two women, friends and both nurses in Rome, held the cross and looked into each other's eyes in a glance that seemed to communicate all the pain of brothers at war and the undying hope of peace and reconciliation. A moment's silence was observed, and everyone prayed for God's gift of peace. The Vatican changed the previously scheduled prayer, due to an outcry against it in Ukraine. Pope Francis offered no homily or reflections for the Via Crucis, allowing the family's personal experience to speak for itself. His final prayer was, Lord, turn our rebellious hearts to your own heart, so that we may learn to pursue plans of peace. Inspire adversaries to shake hands, and taste mutual forgiveness. Disarm the hand of brother raised against brother, so that where there is hatred, concord may flourish. Grant that we never act as enemies of the cross of Christ, so that we may share in the glory of his resurrection. Amen. Watch your program every Friday at 7.30 p.m. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Catholic News World Channel. God bless. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.